My name is uh, Surila Lusausat. Uh, I'm indigenous from Taiwan. I belong to the Paiwan people, uh, which is situated mostly uh, in the southern and eastern parts of Taiwan. I'm doing the research on the tattooing in Samoa and Taiwan. I choose the Samoa and, and Taiwan as my research places is because um, Taiwan as the original homeland of Austronesian family and uh, in Samoa it's the it's sort of like the origin homeland of doing tattooing because so many countries uh, uh, the tattooing was vanished for many years and the tattooing in Samoa continued from the 1800 to present so it's like a two origins homelands and I would like to compare to do the research uh, between those places our country and Samoa uh, were colonized by uh, Japanese and in Taiwan and New Zealand and Germany in Samoa so we have the similar historical uh, background uh, in terms of the colonization and also uh, we have the hierarchical society between these uh, places so it's like a hierarchical strata uh, separate people from different classes uh, which are the aristocrats and uh, commoners so that's why I would like to compare the, the similarities and the differences between the, these places We have 16 indigenous people officially recognized by uh, Taiwanese government and uh, uh, six of them uh, shares the tattooing culture and 
we are one of them. Taiwan is one of them. And but the general the general uh, situation is not as good as we uh, thought. Um, but we are trying to, to to revive the culture back. My uh, tattoo friend, uh, his name is Tupji, a batitas, also from the village of Taiwan in Taiwan, and he's a very good friend of mine. And we met in 2008, so it's been around 10 years since I first met him in the National Tsinghua University in Xinzhou, Taiwan and he saw the picture which was taken back in 1940 and the picture shows the ta uh, man with the tattoo and that's the first very first moment that he thought uh, he wants to to revive the tattooing culture because we lost the culture for so many decades and after after the the beginning he started to have the tattoo himself I went to the tattoo I uh, I recorded the tattoo uh, where he get the tattoo in Taipei the capital of Taiwan using the machine gun so the traditional tattoo uh, was made by the machine and that's the beginning for him to do the tattooing and later um, he did a lot of work uh, for example he did a uh, uh, field work in different villages and also he had uh, many speeches in different places such as schools or the demonstration so that's what that was what he did for the revival of tattooing and more recently he participates in uh, the overseas convention like this that's out in Morea and uh, we also went to the convention it's called uh, Ink Festival in Auckland New Zealand Tuji he is the only tattooist doing tapping in the traditional way and since maybe two years ago I started to help him as a stretcher, as a tattooing assistant. I know uh, it's good to stretch if I am a male, if I am a boy, because I have more power, I have more strength. And um, I know girls, maybe they, they are able to stretch as men do. But uh, uh, I, we know each other for many years and uh, so he always quite frequently he invited me to uh, to be the stretcher for him and being a stretcher I thought it's easy and uh, but it, it, it's not the case uh, it's challenging it seems it just sit, sit tight and uh, you don't do anything but stretching but uh, it's more than that you have to feel the the needle, you have to feel the angle, you have to uh, uh, observe uh, Tuji's uh, position. Uh, we switch this position when Tru I switch position when Tuji switch the position. So we have to do the same thing together, and uh, that is based on our relationship, our our teamwork. So it's like uh, it's not something done individually it's been done uh, collectively we have the 23 million people in total in Taiwan uh, in different uh, ethnic groups including the indigenous peoples which is the minority and the, the majority is the Han people who originally from the China they speak Taiwanese and Chinese or Hakka. As far as I know, only 20, only 2.3 percent of the 23 million people is the population of indigenous people.
Chauza ya nana ni muni ya Chauza ya nana ni muni Oa 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 iye ya ni Na iya oa iya oa iya ni Na iya oa iya oa iya Ki uwa yusaki no wa iya Shikuri kakaja chai muni ya Shikuri kakaja chai muni Oa oa By I, um, I come from Taiwan, Taipei. I come here for with my friend. He he tried to uh, teach more people to do this traditional skill in Taiwan because he want to uh, how to say uh, let this skill keep it going. Yeah. This time he he bring me to here because we try to remix traditional and the new style. New style, I mean uh, with the machine. Yes, he want to after hand poke, and I can use machine to put the watercolor. Yeah, to do like that. But um, I think the people who like to do traditional ones doesn't like put the color <laughs> so uh, yeah this work didn't happen but um, I'm still tattoo few people here yeah so I'm glad glad to be here <laughs> Because I met my master at the time. My, my master? You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, original, I'm a customer of my master. I go to, go to for, ta go for tattoo. Yeah, and then I ask him, do, do you teaching people tattoo? And he said yes. C'est une forme géométrique qui, euh, qui est présente dans n'importe quelle création, que soit la formation des galaxies jusqu'à la formation des atomes. Quoi, hein. On retrouve cette, euh, cette géométrie-là euh, à travers toute la création, quoi, du, du macrocosme jusqu'au microcosme. Quoi. Donc voilà, c'est ce qu'on appelle la géométrie sacrée. Ça, ça élève la conscience, enfin, pour moi je trouve quoi. Hein. Des structures géométriques comme ça, ça permet de. ça élève le, le taux vibratoire d'un endroit pour moi. Quoi, hein. Après c'est des concepts de feng shui, etc. Hein, mais juste être conscient de comment le monde il est autour de nous et, euh, et l'honorer. Euh, voilà C'est pour ça que moi je, je me fais la fleur de vie là sur mon bras. C'est pour un peu honorer cette conscience-là, quoi. Et puis ce, cette géométrie universelle quoi, qui fait la création. Euh, 
Euh... Oui. Du coup, c'est pas du tout taïwanais, ça, hein, c'est vraiment universel. Hein, et puis c'était sur le carnet là, euh, de dessin donc, du coup, de notre amie euh, taïwanaise. Et du coup, voilà, ça m'a interpellé, je me suis arrêté au stand et puis euh, j'ai vu qu'elle avait une fleur de vie aussi euh, sur elle. Puis elle avait des motifs un peu tibétains euh, de méditation, les mantras là. Et voilà, du coup, je me suis retrouvé ici à me faire tatouer quoi. Par euh, pur hasard, par pure synchronicité, comme on pourrait dire. Ouais, bon, après moi, ça faisait quelques années du coup que bah, tu vois, la fleur de vie, je l'ai ici quoi. Que je me la traîne un peu euh, depuis des années quoi. Et là voilà, c'est la première fois que je me la fais tatouer quoi. Donc, euh, Amongst these countries, we share the several motifs of the designs. So, for example, the triangle shapes will be the general shared uh, in these indigenous peoples. In our culture, the uh, triangle shapes represents the, the, the skin of the hundred pies snakes. That's our ancestor. We take the, the skin design to as the design of tattooing. But I know this, the similar shapes in the Pacific. Uh, it represents the shark's teeth, which is the meaning of strength, uh, the meaning of uh, uh, fighting against the enemy. So that's what I know. Yeah. So different mean different meanings, but share the very similar uh, shapes, triangles. We believe that the hundred pet snake uh, uh, are our ancestors. The life, traditionally, we believe the life comes from the pot, ceramic pot, and two uh, snakes protect the the pots, so the life in the pot uh, was given birth safely from the pot uh, guarded by the snakes so we believe the, the snakes are very sacred are very uh, ritual so we put the snake skin the designs of the snake skin into the, the coffin and the tattoo designs People see that recognize immediately. It's a car carving master in Paiwan villages and uh, yeah he is the only carver in our Taiwan team and uh, he worked up there alone and uh, using the modern machines the saw or the knives and uh, so um, he he worked very hard to revive the culture by carving. That's what I know. Yeah. Yeah,两个猫猿只留下我一个人，纯净的梦想，如今都已成空。哎呦，那可爱的好美美，上去。用一万。老板，如果你要买东西，可不可以帮我买？ <笑>好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看好看
sanu o yan na iyo iniyo ayan sila iya mapulata sila iya mapulata ya pulat na ma Come here, everybody tattoo Polynesia style. Yeah, I'm amazed. I feel amazing. Shock, so beautiful. Everybody tribal style. <laughs> In Taiwan, on the street, we have uh, too many kind of style. Yes, like uh, traditional and uh, old school, American. Uh, yeah, too too many. But here, everybody tribe, tribe, tribe. Yeah, I, I like it. Kawana, kawana, itawa o tangaro, o tangaro mauri uri te moana aki wa tangaro wa mautai mo hine te iwa iwa tangaro wa taku tai tai chimu tai pari a hine moana. And it's also our honor and pleasure to share what they, what they know in terms of the connection between Tahiti and Taiwan. And uh, uh, for indigenous people in Taiwan, we have been trying so hard to connect the, the Pacific Islanders such as Tahitian, Samoans, and Maoris, and Hawaiians. We believe we are, uh, share the, the similar cultures. Hey, you see similar, eh? Attention. Tout ça, c'est des symboles de sex. Ah bon? Ouais. Yeah. Le sex, c'est à dire. Parce c'est le symbole de des profondeurs. Ça, moi, depuis tout. que j'ai appris scientifiquement qu'on vient de Taïwan, je me dis que je m'intéresse beaucoup à ça. Une pau. It is proved by the academic evidence from the archaeological research, linguistic research. Aujourd'hui, on ne doit jamais oublier, même si on fait le tatouage traditionnel, on ne vit plus dans les sociétés traditionnelles. Et les sociétés, parce que le système sociétal de Taïwan, c'est hyper moderne, chinoise, euh, voilà. 
et ici on est hyper moderne euh, occidental, c'est-à-dire notre façon de penser et de percevoir les choses a changé à mon avis. In Taiwan, not, no one tattoo artist can do. Maybe few, but they are just on watching the picture then do for the people. Not really understand the meaning inside. Quand le contact avec les Européens, ils sont perçus des choses différemment que nous. Et c'est très difficile de s'approcher à ça, à mon avis. Et comme ça, je suis très prudent. We are the minority on Earth, and we have to get together and put the strength together and to to revive our strength. Uh, tattooing, for example, or carving, for example, or other things like uh, indigenous rights. We put the strength all together so we can become a family and do the same thing. Les Taïwanais sont intéressés aussi par faire revivre des, des, des traditions de tatouage aussi un peu pour se, pour se rattacher à l'Océanie et pour se détacher euh, de, de la Chine, de l'emprise de la Chine. Donc ça fait partie aussi voilà, des, du patrimoine culturel qu'ils ont envie de mettre en avant. Auparavant, lorsqu'ils ont été colonisés par le Japon, euh, lorsque l'association de Kuomintang est venue à Taïwan, ben, tout ça a été interdit. It's actually different songs with different songs we we sang uh, during the dancing show, the dancing performance, and we put the the, the songs all together. And uh, I know one song represents the the it's for for gathering. So we seen when the people sit together, work together to share and to to share the the strength, to share the difficulty, and we share the happiness. That's our culture. We share the things all together. <laughs>